Hello all and welcome, and I'm the MGTOW Philosopher, and in this video I would like to discuss the anti-feminist. Now you say, yes, finally a real woman, a woman who's seen the light. Women are starting to wake up and see the truth, that men are great and wonderful. Hallelujah! Praise Jesus! No. Slow your roll, gentlemen. Not so fast. For you see, she isn't really anti-feminist. It's just a clever ploy to get close to you so that she can get into your wallet. No American woman is an anti-feminist. None. Zilch. Zero. Nada. They're all feminists of one form or another. Yes, that's right. If she says she's an anti-feminist, she is lying to you. But philosopher, how can you say that? You can't know that for sure. Oh, but I can, young lane. For you see, there's no such thing as an anti-feminist American woman. Just like there's no such thing as ghosts, ghouls, or goblins. There are no special exemptions in this regard. For you see, the left went out of its way to indoctrinate the entire country, and for over 50 years, women have been fed a non-stop diet of bullshit that is feminism. And we're talking about Manchurian candidate-level shit here. It's been bred into them from birth, by their mommies who treated their daddies like crap, and by their weak daddies who put up with her shit, by the state educating kids in this filthy ideology, and by the media that portrays men as disposable fools. Do you really think that none of that rubbed off on her? That she somehow got through it all unscathed? I think not, you fool. There are no American women who are anti-feminists. They don't exist, and they don't exist for a number of reasons. Reason one, they benefit too much. Women get far, far too much from feminist ideas and policies. They get affirmative action, they make more money than men if they never had kids and have the same experience and time in the workforce as a man. They'd have to blow up their boss's building to get fired. They get all sorts of support from the state if things get rough. And they can essentially commit murder and get away with it, in many a case, if they just seem pathetic enough. And they can accuse a man of rape if they feel regret or just don't like him afterwards, and he'll go straight to jail. They can attack guys and not get hit back. Isn't that nice? They can act like idiots and beat up Uber drivers and destroy the Uber driver's car and suffer no consequences. They can marry a man and legally steal half his shit, get paid forever, and get the kids and not have to pay one dime for them. He pays everything. And the list goes on and on and on. Now you show me one woman who's going to give up all that and I'll show you a woman who's lying her ass off if she says that she will. Reason two, she's indoctrinated. This stuff is pounded into people's brains at an unconscious level. It is programming, and it's also women that we're talking about. Nowhere on earth does there live a less self-aware being, except maybe a slug. That's why women make such great leftists. They're easy to indoctrinate, and hard to deprogram. Reason three, they believe in equality. Women think they're equal to men. They don't question it. To them, equality, which really just means two things being the same or not, well, to them, it's a given. To them, it's self-evident. It doesn't matter how much you argue with a woman on this, in this regard. She will never, ever agree with you. Once someone becomes a leftist, that's it. You'll have more luck knocking your head against a granite wall and trying to convince the granite wall that your head is winning, then you will in convincing a woman that she is not equal to you. I mean, really, how often do you see ex-leftists, ex-Marxists coming forward and talking about how they were converted, how they were changed and converted from leftism to conservatism? Or a feminist American woman coming forward and saying that she's seen the light and she's realized that she is in no way equal to a man. Not often. You're not going to hear any woman saying, at least any American woman saying, that men and women are not equal. No way. That's the feminist mantra. That's their core belief, or so they say. And that's the problem with these so-called anti-feminists. They are in no way ex-feminists. Here's what's going on in most cases. Feminism is no longer popular. The word itself has negative connotations. 
The only women who still call themselves feminists are the hardcore dummies who are the true believers. They would be labeled by Lenin as his most useful idiots. They'll always call themselves feminists. And in truth, I can respect that somewhat. I mean, at least they have the guts to say what they are and be damned what other people think. That I can at least respect. Now, yeah, I don't agree with them because they're batshit crazy and they're man-haters through and through, but I can still respect that type of feminist for at least being honest and not trying to hide how they feel. But this new bullshit breed of feminist that calls herself anti-feminist, it just rubs me the wrong way. One reason for this is they're all liars. Liars! They're in no way against feminism. No way. They're just against the extremely negative marketing campaign that was third wave feminism. You know that brand of feminism. The one that says what all feminists actually feel instead of trying to hide it like first and second wave feminists did and still do. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I actually prefer. I like third wave feminism when compared to first and second wave feminism. For, you see, the third wave, it shows what crackpots and nuts women are. And yes, I mean all women, because they all believe this crazy shit put forward by first, second, and yes, third wave feminism. And I prefer to see women acting that way, because it's honest. It shows how they feel. And that way, everyone can see what nuts they are, and how idiotic their kooky ideology really is. And it makes it so much easier for men to not be tricked into dating any of these women and to just go their own way instead. But this new anti-feminism bullshit, it concerns me. It concerns me because some men are actually falling for it. That's right. For example, we have some female writers and lecturers who have become very prominent lately in the public sphere. I'm not going to name names, as some of you can probably figure out who I'm talking about. Anyhow, these women, these so-called, quote-unquote, anti-feminists, are nothing more than pragmatists. And what they're peddling is shit they don't even believe. They're nothing more than businesswomen who see that their prior message has become unpopular. And that there is a whole new audience in the form of men who they can sell their disingenuous bullshit to if they just use the term anti-feminist. Something that, something that gives all men hope when they hear it. Oh, there are women writing books and giving lectures on how men are being treated badly? Ex-feminists who have seen the light and who are saying good things about men and saying feminism is bad? Wow, great. Where can I buy their books? Now, what these businesswomen are doing is twofold. One, they're doing a kind of virtue signaling to men and saying to these men, hey, I'm one of the good women who sees your value. Come listen to me as I both feed your male ego and give you hope for the future. At the same time, they're signaling to women that they're also good, enlightened women, and they have other women's best interest in mind. And they're letting those women know how to convincingly pull this scam on men while saying that they just want to help reunite the sexes and make both men and women happy. Happy. You want to engender feelings in a man for you? Just tell him you're an anti-feminist and he will believe that you sympathize with a man's plight. Of course, the truth is that she's simply telling you what she thinks you want to hear, so you'll go out with her and give her a chance to get into your wallet. Because you see, all anti-feminism actually is is women changing their tactics. Because they see the third wave crap is actually having the opposite effect and turns everyone off. So all you need to do is see that video of that fat, disgusting blob who's called Big Red. Is that, is that what her name was? Where she's making fun of male suicide. Now once you see that, it's not hard to see why feminists are changing their tactics. That third wave crap, it's not a good marketing campaign. And no good product would want that message associated with them. You know, some fat pig singing, cry me a river, when you remind her that men kill themselves at higher rates than women do. And that's it. It's nothing more than a change of tactics. Yeah, they might say some things about men, some nice things, but they're not all that nice. Most of what they say are just retractions of some of the more outrageous claims made by nutty third waivers. That's it. 
Otherwise, it's mostly just equivocations and them saying, yeah, men are bad, but women are bad too. They do the same things, and we're no better. That's the kind of shit they peddle. More equality bullshit, even in the negative. Everything with these anti-feminists is about how men and women are equal. Equally bad, equally good. But oh no, women are not superior, nor are men superior. These so-called anti-feminists are nothing more than wolves in sheep's clothing. They're egalitarians through and through. Now, they don't even decry feminism. They do not admit that men and women are not equal. They don't say that equality is bullshit. No, they just decry third-wave feminism. That's it. They still believe in egalitarianism. They still believe that men and women are equal. They just dial it back a bit and stop short of exposing their true feelings and mission, which is, of course, superiority, which they want to maintain, by the way. And their mission is basically to not expose their feelings the way that third waivers did and still do, their true feelings. But that doesn't make them non-feminists, which is what anti-feminist means, that you're not a feminist. But they are feminists! So how can they say they're anti-feminist when they still believe that men and women are equal? You see, what, you're, what you have going on here with these anti-feminist writers and lecturers are women who are trying to have their cake and eat it too. They want to appeal to both men and women. And of course, women love it because this gives them something they can use to get into men's wallets by, by claiming to be the good ones. Because what the diehard feminist would, what, what diehard feminist would ever claim to be anti-feminist? Because after all, isn't feminism only about men and women being equal? If she's anti-feminist, she can't possibly believe that men and women are equal, right? She's anti-feminist. Feminism is about equality. Anti-feminism, you wouldn't believe men and women are equal, right? Wrong. As for men, it gives them hope. It makes them imagine a possibly happy future with a good woman in a leave-it-to-beaver type scenario with the traditional conservative guy, Ward Cleaver, and the good woman being happy with her role in society. This anti-feminist message plays right into the wants of both sexes without addressing the actual reality of either. And that is this, that any woman who says she's anti-feminist is essentially laying a trap for a guy because she's always lying if she says this. As for men, it plays into their deep down want to return to a time and place that just doesn't exist anymore and will never exist again. But the anti-feminist message, it's a strong one. It taps into a guy's urge to provide and protect, which is a very powerful biological drive. And many men, they still hold out hope somewhere deep in the back of their mind for that white picket fence and the 2.5 kids, or or whatever the fuck the perfect number is, statistically speaking. But in the end, all these women who sell these books and give these lectures and try to convince you that they are red-pilled, well, they're just full of shit. That's it. They are no more anti-feminist than I am anti-free speech. They just want to sell books and give lectures. Lectures that won't just have mostly women in the audience and only a few cucked guys. No, they want a virtue signal to both sides so as to maximize their profits and their virtue in the eyes of everyone. When in truth, they believe wholeheartedly in feminism. Minus expressing the third wave crap, of course. Because that's very unpopular for branding nowadays. But they're perfectly fine with the messages of the first and second waves of feminism. Perfectly fine with them. And therein lies the problem. It's the branding that they have the biggest problem with, not the ideology. You see, these old hag anti-feminists, they want to hook a new generation of girls on these very old, very tired, and obviously ugly ideas. And so how do you sugarcoat these ideas to make them palatable? Why, you change the branding, of course, and call it anti-feminism. After all, it was working just fine before women became a little too militant, and started acting like Nazis and stormtroopers in trying to get their message across. And the man-hating, yeah, that's bad. It sends a bad message, and it delegitimizes us. It exposes our true feelings and our agenda of superiority all too well, and we can't have that. And like all forms of socialism, the movement that is feminism wants nothing more than superiority. The oppressed simply want to take the place of the so-called oppressors. A paradigm shift, nothing more. That's really all feminism is about. 
and decrying third wave fem feminism, saying how horrible third wave feminism was, that in no way makes them anti-feminist. You actually have to be against the ideas that define feminism to call yourself anti-feminist. And they ain't. They just ain't. And you go ahead and you ask a woman who says she's anti-feminist if she still believes that men and women are equal and see how she answers. Now, I can already tell you how she'll answer. She'll answer with an affirmative, of course I believe men and women are equal. Why do you ask? Because no woman who was raised, who is raised in America, is ever going to acknowledge that men and women are not equal. And you know that secretly, deep down, they all believe they're superior. Even though they have no objective evidence for this whatsoever, they still believe it. But hey, they can have babies, right? So of course they're superior. Now, I'm not exactly sure how having babies makes you not only equal, but better than a man. I just don't see the correlation. You're essentially just an easy-bake oven. But being an oven somehow equates to superiority? Well, I guess you're superior as an easy-bake oven, but that's about it. And there you have it, folks, in a nutshell. These so-called anti-feminist writers and lecturers are nothing more than infiltrators into the manosphere, trying to get us men to accept their new and improved and cleaner and more man-friendly form of feminism. Yes, let's all accept this new form of actual oppression in disguise. Yes, let's do that. I'll pass. Oh, no. Our movement, anti-feminism, it isn't about man-hating anymore. We don't agree on man-hating. That's bad, because that just sends a bad message. Yeah, we believe we should have the same rights as men, and we believe we're equal. And yeah, we're still feminists. We're just trying. We're just saying we're not feminists, so that we can get you to accept us and our message, and of course to buy our books. Oh, and don't forget, we're anti-feminist, even though we believe in feminism. Just not the man-hating that makes our movement so unpopular and has made it no longer vogue and in style to be a feminist. So now we call ourselves anti-feminists. These feminists and their female students simply want to have their cake and eat it too. The young ladies who buy these crap books and listen to these crap lectures, well, they just want to know how to best infiltrate the manosphere so that they can get the smartest and most successful men. They want the men who are a challenge, you see, the men who don't want them, the men who are smart enough to want nothing to do with feminists, but who will gladly accept women if the woman calls herself an anti-feminist. Sadly, this anti-feminist garbage is more or less the same turd as before. It's just slightly fancier wrapping. That's it. I'm going to be honest. This shit really annoys me. The, the procession of people continually, continually attempting to man manipulate men. It never seems to end. This is part of why I have no respect for these anti-feminists. As I said before, at least the fat, ugly, hateful troll bitches and feminists, troll bitch feminists who are loud and proud, at least they're honest about who and what they are. Yeah, they're disgusting, but that's good. I, still ha I know to stay away from them. Oh, look at those big, fat, disgusting trolls, man-hating. Stay away. No problem. But this new form of feminism, it's far more insidious, far more dangerous. These so-called anti-feminists, they're as fake as a $3 bill. Listen up, gentlemen. These writers, these lecturers are in no way anti-feminists. But, you see... <laughs> People want to believe it. Men want to believe that, oh, there's some women out there that are anti-feminist, that, that really see the value in men, but they are fake. They are not anti-feminists, but they are most certainly anti-traditionalism in regards to their role in a relationship because they're feminists. These, writy, these writers, these lecturers, they call themselves anti-feminists, they will not fold your socks or cook your meals or stay at home and take care of the kids. Everything you would assume that an anti-feminist would do, they don't do. Oh, no. 
They are just against the outright man-hating the third waivers so often display because that delegitimizes their movement to the point where they can no longer make bank as a real feminist. So they have to brand themselves as anti-feminist to make any money. What a bunch of horse shit. Listen to me. Guys, run. Any woman that says she is anti-feminist is in fact more dangerous than the fat giant trolls who laugh at male suicide and avidly talk about bathing in male tears. Those blobs, well, they're so obvious in their hate and misandry that I know who to avoid. But these anti-feminist chicks have been trained in a sort of infiltration technique that plays to all a man's hopes and dreams about having a traditional life and a nice Norman Rockwell family and a nice traditional woman who respects you and your contributions. And it makes you as a man think that he's finally found a woman who's good, who's old-fashioned, who's down-to-earth, a real woman that he can respect. But it's all bullshit because she's lying to you. She hates you. American women hate you. They don't like you. It's impossible for them to really like you. They can't. They've been indoctrinated to despise any and everything masculine. What you th- what, what, what do you think? They nag and complain all the time because they like you? No. They hate you. They hate you. And all feminists hate you. And all American women are feminists. There are no anti-feminist women. Just like there are no unicorns. It's all a big con so that some moderately well-spoken women can appeal to men and thereby double their audience. They do this by pandering to men's nostalgia, their hopes, and their biology. At the same time, they pander to women who want to know how to snag a so-called real man who is successful and had the balls to walk away from women in their crap, which is basically something that represents a challenge to them. At the same time, Women want to manipulate men into accepting this new form of feminism, which is just feminism. This this, this, this anti-feminism bullshit isn't anti, it's just feminism. And they want to still be able to hold on to all the goodies and superiority that feminism has given them as women. And trust me, they will never ever give that shit up willingly. Never. Hence the anti-feminism, yet still feminist movement. It's not anti-feminism, it's still feminism, just in a slightly better rapper, and it's bullshit. It's just feminism trying to be inconspicuous by claiming to be its opposite. And in that sense, it's no different than groups like Antifa, which claims to be anti-fascist, but they are actually the biggest fascist of them all. So if she says she's anti-feminist, you know what to do. Run your ass off and don't look back because the most dangerous enemy is not the one you see coming. It's the enemy that disguises itself as your friend and then sneaks up behind you and slips the dagger between your ribs. I am the Big Top Philosopher and I wish you a good day. Take care.